So I want to just run through a few quick examples, make sure we're all on the same page, because we're going to need this in the next lesson when we start talking about solving right triangles. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your calculator is in degree mode, because we're working with degrees here. So for most calculators, you're going to have a mode key. Okay, so you hit mode, and you're going to toggle to where it says degree. Okay, you want to select degree instead of radian. Now, the way you can check this is you can hit the sign key, and then inside the parentheses, you want to type 90, okay, for sine of 90 degrees. You just type 90. You don't need the degree symbol because it knows it's in degrees because you put it in degree mode. Then you're going to hit enter, and you should get a value of 1 if you are in degrees. So when you first start doing this, I recommend checking this each time just to make sure that you're in degree mode and you're going to get the right answer. You don't want to make a silly mistake and get the wrong answer on your questions. All right, so let's start out with something like the cosine of 60 degrees. So on a calculator, we would hit the COS key, the cosine key, and then it should bring up some set of parentheses. Just type 60 inside of those parentheses. Sometimes you have to close the parentheses yourself. Sometimes it does it for you. It just depends on the calculator you have. So you want to have cosine. Let's pretend this is the cosine key, okay? You want to type... 60 inside the parentheses. Again, you might have to put the parentheses or it might do it for you, just depending on the calculator you have. And then you want to hit the enter key. Okay. Once you perform this operation, you should get a value that's exactly 0.5, right? Or one half as a fraction. Okay. And we talked about this in the last lesson in terms of the cosine of 60 degrees. We know it's 0.5 already. So this is a good one to start with. Now, in a lot of cases, you are not going to get an exact value, right? You're going to have to approximate. So let's say we're going to round these to the nearest 10,000th, okay? And what I'm going to look at is sine of 170 degrees. So to do this on my calculator, again, I'm just going to hit the sine key. So hit the sine key. And then again, inside the parentheses, just put 170 in there. And then just hit enter, okay? So if we do that, we're going to get, and I'm going to use an approximate symbol here, okay? So 0.173. Okay, and then you have six, four. So the six is where I'm going to stop. That's where I'm going to cut things off. The digit after the six is a four. So we're going to be rounding down. So this is going to be our answer. Okay, so 0 